We're following up on an investigation into one of the worst cases of bed bugs and mice we've ever come across. Mm -hmm. It was so bad, a Portsmouth woman took the housing authority to court and convinced them to settle. And when she described it to us, one particular notion was burned into a lot of viewers' minds. Investigative reporter Chris Horn follows up now on his investigation from earlier this year. Chris? Anita and Tom, this story was bad enough to begin with, but when this mother of four described how she had so many mice that they were jumping from her Christmas tree, it was an image we couldn't forget. Well, this Christmas will be much more merry. This Christmas, Lakeitha Drake got what she wanted. I want justice. I want reimbursement. I want a healthier, uninfested environment for my kids. That was back in May. Drake and her four sons had had an ongoing battle with bed bugs and mice at her unit in Dale Homes. She and her legal aid attorney convinced Portsmouth Public Housing to settle her case. The terms are confidential, but no one can keep her from talking about last Christmas and how mice ruined it for her family. Drake's father got the family this new tree after she had to throw out her old one. All the kids' ornaments that they made in school, the candy canes, the cookies, the gingerbread man, everything all my kids made, even at school over the years, was on this tree. And when I went to the tree to shake it, that's when the mice was just jumping out of the Christmas tree. Jumped out, jumped on the couch, jumped on the floor, and they ran. That is not a sight <laughs> no one wants to see. It's a much happier holiday season this time. Drake says she and her kids now have a safer, healthier, and roomier place in a different Portsmouth neighborhood. The kitchen is big. I love the kitchen. But the emotional weight of mice and bed bugs is hard to shake. They all have a bed just like this. Drake says out of habit, she still pulls the covers back on her kids' beds just to be sure. I'll sometimes see little spots or something and I'll think it's a bug and I'll go down it might be a piece of lint. I'll sometimes feel like stuff's crawling on me and I look, there's nothing there. Even with the flashbacks, Drake says she and her boys can finally feel secure. We're in a home. You know, I can actually say we're not in an apartment, we're not in a house, we're in a home. I haven't said that word in a long time. And good for her. Drake says she's looking forward to inviting family over for dinner on Christmas Day and having them come to a home she can be proud of. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.